now you're going to explain. Bright. I'm afraid you're too late. Slade got away. Slade? You mean he escaped contact? Are you sure? Yes, I recognize him uh, by his picture in the papers. How long has he been gone? Just a minute before you came. He can't be far away, officer. Come on, Bill. Meddling fools. Who could have sent them here? Then it, it wasn't you. Me bring the police here. What did you do with the jewelers? I didn't get them. But Slade thought you had them, or he wouldn't have followed you here. I didn't have time to open the package before Slade snatched it from me. Then somebody took them out of the package before you got it. Who could have done it? It could only have been one man. He was near the roof when the package fell from the plane. Who was it, Father? One of the officials of the storage company. His name escapes me. Uh, oh, yes. Now I remember. It is... Word from the shadow? Yes, we're away here. He'll give his orders at 11 o'clock. But, Mr. Ray, how could you, the greatest detective in the country, let the shadow attack this warehouse and get away with it without the slightest clue? What makes you think I haven't a clue, Mr. Bradley? I know what the shadow's after. You do? What is it? The most priceless collection of jewels in the world. The imperial jewels of the Tsar. You mean they've been stored here in the warehouse without my knowledge? Yes. It's the cleverest scheme ever devised by a thief to hide his loot. Yes? It's for you. Thank you. Hello? Foster talking, Mr. Raymond. I've trailed the shadow's men and found their hideout. 
Right. I'll meet you there. Wait a minute. Wasn't that uh, Foster on the wire? Yes. <laughs> he believes he's found the shadow's hiding place. Well, aren't you going to call the police? No. Will you do that for me, please? Tell them I'll meet them the first turn off beyond the country club. Steinbeck in his laboratory? No, Mr. Raymond. He's under the roof. Look next to the broken aerial. Well, then you better go up and help him. But uh, there's I... nothing you can do here until the aerial is repaired. All right. is dead. He has tracked you down. Act quickly. My men are all posted, Mr. Foster. The place is completely surrounded. We can't wait any longer for Raymond. You'd better... Any sign of the shadow? No, but we're all ready to close in. Lead the way, Sergeant. break in, huh? Well... Pass it all around, boys! Wait, wait. I've never seen the lock I open with this key. No one in there, Sarge. One upstairs, Sergeant. Well, if there was anybody here, they'd made their clean getaway. They've been warned. Did you tell anyone I found the Shadow's headquarters? Well, uh, only Mr. Bradley. But surely you don't suspect him, the president of the company. I wonder if anyone could have listened in on the phone. Perhaps. Oh. Yes, Mr. Jerome. I found somebody who can solve your puzzle for you. Oh, Mr. Jerome. Who is it? He's waiting for you at the end of the main aisle on the third floor. Thank you. Take a look in the radio room, see if Sparks is there. He can uh, he can tell you better than I. Oh, Sparks. Oh, uh, looks like he isn't here. But as I told you, there's the door to the roof where I saw a hand reach out and grab a package of jewels. But isn't that where Jerome mistook Sparks? One of the shadows men? Yes. Say. That means Jerome was close by when the package fell out of the plane. Do you suppose he could have taken the jewels? Well, it's worth looking into. Let's go down and talk to Mr. Bradley. Oh. 
Well, you will never solve that puzzle. But, Mr. Bradley, we would have captured the Shadow's men if someone hadn't tipped them off. Did you tell anybody I discovered their hideout? Why, uh, come to think of it, I did tell Jerome. But surely you don't think that he... Come in. Excuse me, Mr. Bradley, but this is an urgent message for Mr. Raymond. Thank you, Jarvis. Bite, but don't let him know you're following him. Step on it, driver. He's getting away. Well, you told me not to let him get wise to us. Get ready. He isn't here. Why, I was just talking to him. He got wise and jumped out. Come on, search the bush. I got him. I've got your cover, you double-crossing crook. What do you want? You know what I want. Where's your hide stuff? I don't know what you're talking about. No? That is Jerome's house. Father, promise me you'll be careful. There's nothing to worry about, Vera. These smoke pots will make Jerome show me that the jewels are hidden. Don't try to stall me, Jerome. I know the jewels were in that bag. You tell me where you hit them, or... I'm not wasting any more time on you, Jerome. You'll tell me... Not a peep out of you. Here's got the jewels! 